Hello and welcome to They Are Billions. It's a game that's floating about the place. And I'm going to give it a go. It's the sixth game I've played. I've played all of them on these settings. First two games I got my arse handed to me. Second couple of games I made it to about 60 days and 80 days. Um, if you have context for that. If you don't, it's, it's fine. The fifth game went just fine. I'm going to lie about. Yep. It went just fine. Bloody hell. I've screwed it up already. <laughs> Never mind. This looks like a fun starting place, however. This is a happy, happy dead end. There's no space in this happy, happy dead end. Um, but it means that I won't be murdered down that happy, happy dead end. So immediately, we need more houses. That's a good place for the house. It's probably there. Right, scout, scout. You protect the buildings. You can go with them. We have some free wood there. Um, is that enough to build a sawmill? No, we need some gold. Yeah, okay. So for those who don't know what this game is, it's sort of... Um, well, it's sort of an RTS tower defence sort of game. Um, it's a bit like an RTS in that you need to build up like an economy and resources and units and stuff. Um, it's a bit like a tower defence in that there will be every 10 days or so just sort of waves of enemies that will come and get you. But part of the trick in this game is sort of expanding out uh, into the world. Still more gold. Um, where there are just zombies everywhere. Um, you need to expand out, claim land, and the resources in the land, and generally improve. There's big groups of them around here. Um, ooh. Can I really wander in a ninja that? This map seems alright. This area seems easily defendable. And there are these not a narrow choke points along here. You stay in, stay in guard. You continue exploring, um, which is ideal. Ooh, no. Yeah, the big groups aren't as helpful to the plan. Um, but there we are. That's the way of it sometimes. This is less good. Um... It's not a bad resource pile there. Great. I think is that the first oil I've seen? Oh no, there's an oil there. Um, right, anyway, I should probably be doing a little bit of a, a little bit of construction or something, you know. More trees would be nice, actually. Having thought about that, I'll probably need those. Stone in range. I do. Okay. Just getting my resources out and going there. I'll give that a little bit of an explain in a minute. Um, oh, I've got some fast ones following you. Oh. Hmm. That's not a fun. But yeah, so basically what I've got to do is I've got to keep this building intact. I've got to continue to grow. Every now and again there'll be... Well, every 10 to 15 days there'll be sort of hordes of zombies that will sort of turn up and just try and wreck my stuff. Got to, got to try and live through that. What's down there? What's over here? Oh no, there's a big group of zombies over there. That's what's over there. Uh, you, however... Might have something slightly less horrific. Oh no, that's more horrific. Right. We're not expanding this way then. That these houses make zombies, basically. Um, you can clear them out and they'll have rewards like that in. However, um, whenever you like attack them, zombies... Oh, 
for goodness sake. Lost his count. I have a strange sense of deja vu on that, but uh, never mind. There we are. So where do I need to be expanding to? So this area can just be walled, I think. I don't want to go down here, really. So, so initially I'll just have a wall across here, then I guess one across here is a final sort of corner. Um, I suppose that resembles a plan. Um, I don't have a lot of trees, which could be an issue. I guess if I, if I go all the way around the lake and back over to this side, I'll get some more. And there's some here, but they won't provide much in the way of wood. Little copses about. Ho oh, hum. You might be resource starved this game, but we'll see. And what's the gold here? What do I want to do? What do I want next? I probably want the wood workshop. Wood workshop is good. I need more workers. I need more. I need wood. That's easily done. I'll probably need more energy as well by the time I'm done building all the houses I need. Or not. What does it need? Uh, workers 10. Actually, no, those houses should do it. That should be fine then. You just slowly chip away at them, would you? Same with you. Just pick at them a little bit. Yes, we have the workers required for a workshop. Um, oh! Needs a mayor. Uh, ooh. A free mill? That's not good. However, the tech to build the ballistas is nice. Oh, I don't need to research it now. Um, which is a handy little thing, actually. Which makes the early rush for the wood workshop almost entirely pointless, if I'm honest. But there we go. Um, that's how I like to play the game. <laughs> like an idiot. What am I lacking? I'm lacking an energy. So I need a mill. Which two houses will give me enough to do that. So yeah, that'll be fine. Building turn mill. Um, is there a little gap I can wiggle it in? No, not really. That'll do. It can live in there. That's fine. I guess. Okay. Where did I put my soldier? <laughs> is everything okay? Okay. <laughs> Just sh shuffle yourself around so I know where you are. Um, that's all I need. Right. Let's get up some basic walls. And I'm not going to worry about anything from over there for a bit. I'll just leave these two hold that wall. It's a bit close to my command centre but I'll have to defend it up with some towers and such before too long anyway so that's fine. I'll expand out a little bit to sort of double wall this area maybe pick up the stone and that stone um, but otherwise I'm not too fussed. I think where do I want to expand next? Well maybe this is like a good little box that I can take over. It's got more trees in which is nice got a bit of green land and it's got a decent amount of space that I can plonk houses down in so that's probably the plan um, I should probably research something really what do I want next market hmm farms look at tower snipers I'm not fussed about snipers cottages are a good upgrade they're always handy um, improvements for the houses is nice 
Um, farms, not bad. More food. In fact, I will be limited on food, won't I? I've got the lake, but I don't have many trees at the moment. A farm, I think, is next then. Need more workers. So I need more houses. Plop a house down. Why not? That all seems fine. Um, yeah, we can have one there too. Okay, go, go, go. Get to building. You lazy bums. That's fine. Good. Right. In that case, I want to be clearing this little area. So let's bring up this one. He can deal with this on his lonesome, I imagine. Um, how many do I need to make a blister so I don't have Mr. Mr. Loud Gun Man there? And yeah, that's fine. He can come back and sort of sit by the houses and be back up to fence man. Um, or the often up a zombie just, just happens to wander in or something. Something really awkward like that. Which I would never allow to happen. That would be stupid. Oh boy. It's not like I've already tried to record this game once today and just completely left this massive area open, undefended. That would be an idiotic thing for me to do. I would never do such a thing. That is madness. No clips of that have been edited into this video. That would equally be stupid. Right, okay, that's done. That'll kill anything that comes near my wall. That's fine. You're going to be seeing a lot of these. If I'm entirely honest. There's going to be a few about. Uh, throughout the course of the game. Just, yeah, doing that. It just looks fun. Um, okay, anyway. Right, next thing to research. Market. Market's useful. Next thing to build. I probably want a warehouse at some stage. Needs workers, need wood. Uh, oh no, I was going to expand out my energy network, as it were. With my Tesla towers. Extends the energy range of the colony, yeah. So I've not really explained what, what any of the stuff is. Uh, I've got colonists there, that's just the amount of people that are about. Um, I've got workers. Workers are needed to man the buildings or to make new soldiers with. Simple enough, having houses has workers. Uh, food. Food basically limits the number of houses you can have. You want to have more houses, more people, you need more food. Energy. Buildings need energy to function. That's pretty simple. Um, gold. It's money. You use money for the things that you use money for. Wood. It is wood, you get it from the trees. You use it to build stuff. You know, lots of early game stuff needs it. Uh, stone, sort of same as wood, but you get it from the ground. Weird that. Uh, mid sort of tier stuff needs that. Iron, again, much like stone, comes from the ground. Madness, I know. Um, it's sort of later game. Um, as well as oil. Oil only comes from these oil wells. Again, strange that oil would come from an oil well. I know. Do try to keep up. It's madness. I know. It's very complicated, I understand, but there we are. Um, but that's used for sort of the, the last tier of buildings and defences and things. Which is pretty, pretty good. Okay, right. What's next, do you think? Right. I've built this in a really stupid place, haven't I? Yes. Yes, I have. So we will gate up over there. Which again, that's probably a stupid place for the gate to be. Uh, you clowns can come back inside. Blister there. Honestly, we probably don't want the blister behind this. That seems stupid. Because if the walls get broken through, they'll break this and it'll turn everything off. But there we are. That's that's just how I how I play the game. Like an idiot. Failing to take into account basic mechanics or anything of that sort. Have I run out of wood? I have! Who would have seen that coming? Me. I saw that coming because there aren't any bloody trees here. Um, 
Yeah, outward expansion. Right, you fellas. Wander off here, would you? We need this area with bountiful trees. Okay. I guess a farm is our next purchase. We're just going to try and clear out some hordes as much as we can anyway. Um, you are still needed to guard that gate, however, because we don't have a tower over there just yet. I believe it is day eight. Hmm. Don't want to build a tower there next, actually. Maybe. That will make the whole thing quicker. Uh, need more workers. Two workers. That's just one house worth. That should be fine. I'll just continue to tack it onto the end of this stupid housing area. Uh. And what do I want to research? Better houses. That would actually fix the whole problem. That would. That would be, you know, super duper useful. But never mind. We'll just, we'll just do that now instead of earlier, when when it would have been extra helpful. Right. No. That one. There we go. Ideal place. Okay, how's this going over here? Just dealing with it, drawing in little packs, good. This is just dealing with anything that's wandering up on towards this wall, that's fine. Uh, the new, well, the first wave should probably pop up fairly soonish. Day sort of 10 to 15 or so tends to arrive. Shouldn't be any trouble, we've got walls when we've got towers on each wall. That should deal with the first one. That's fine. We've just got to sort of figure out where we want to expand to. Well, we've figured out where we want to expand to. We've just got to make that happen now. Right, you come with. You'll help. You're doomed. We'll recall them back to the proper place when we know where the attack is coming from. Um, probably this wall, I guess? It's the closest to all the houses and things. Um, I think it tends to come towards the weakest defence or the place where there are most houses, but I'm not 100% certain that that's true. I might be wrong. I could be making it up. But yeah, but I think it tends to go where it's weaker. Great. Yeah, which I... I guess would be this one because there's slightly less coverage because it's a longer wall but you know that might not be how the game figures that out there's no real way of knowing um unless there is you know i might just be dense missing something obvious and simple that's that's an option that's always an option It's not a great option, I'll be honest, but it's the, the only one I've got. Yeah. Where are you going? What am I running behind? I've got enough power. Workers is the current problem. I will need more of those to expand. But we can upgrade houses, so we're going to give that a shot instead. I can upgrade a house. Why not another? We don't have enough food. Okay. That will be resolved once we have more workers. Great. You can go and get food. So that we may have more workers to get us food. Ah, there we go. Farm's in place. Now we don't have enough wood. But look at how much nicer these cottages are. Let's have a nice little zoom in. I mean, the tents are right. They're a bit patchwork. But these are... You know, genuinely nice looking buildings, aren't they? I wouldn't mind living in this little steam powered nonsense cottage. This is probably a bit close for my liking. This really loud, always running sawmill. Um, but you know. Oh no, sorry, that's the wood workshop. With the large saw. Um, in saying that, the sawmill is not exactly far away. But yeah, and then this whole town will stink of fish. And there are zombies. But the Tesla Towers look pretty cool. 
As does this ridiculous windmill that will never ever gather wind in this really awkward place. But there we are, that's fine. Yeah. But no, this this is working well I think. But yeah, I, I think the trickiest part of this game for me is to figure out how much land I can grab at any one given time. So I always want to grab that little bit extra. Also, is that open? That's important to know, actually. But I'm going to find that out now. Is this just an open path? Yeah. Oh, hello? Hello, zombie. No, could, could you kindly get yourself off the gold so that I can go on my merry way? I need to know if this is just a path that leads straight out. Yes, it is. That is an massive inconvenience. Okie dokie. That's fine. Yeah. I'm not saying that's going to be extremely irritating or anything, but that's going to be the worst. I think this is an open path as well, but that's slightly more manageable. Because that's just one tile wide, which is of royal pain, in fact. Whereas I can actually fit like a gate and a tower here to shoot anything that comes near it. Um, whereas that's just going to be a wall, which will be broken through pretty quickly. 